much, Jessica. And we told you about this story yesterday. Comcast, Time Warner coming together. Now, we brought Nathan Backrack here. We'll also talk about Simply Money subjects as well. But we want to talk to you about this because what does this mean? Yeah, well, I'll tell you what it means. It means that in all likelihood, at some point, the price for all of these little gizmos and gadgets yeah. is going to go up. Remember See, the, some people were saying, no, no, it doesn't yeah, mean yeah. that. I thought the same thing, though. How about why? this, Jackie? The check's in the mail. I'll call you. Oh, and this is good for the consumer. Businesses make money by making money off of us. They yeah. do what's good for business. They, it's nice to think of us as a service, too. I don't believe it, but remains to be seen. Watch your cable bill very closely. Yeah, well, Comcast is going to have a monopoly now, basically. Yeah. It's the a two biggest companies coming together. Right, and a lot of places, in half of the cities now, where you go to get your cell phone, your landline, and your cable, yeah, it's all going to be from one company. My guess is nothing gets cheaper over time. Well, okay. Certainly with this stuff. So it's going to get more expensive. You I think gotcha. we were all kind of assuming that, but thanks for clarifying. Yeah, well, click your heels three times and see if you wind up in Kansas, Dorothy, because I'm telling you what. Please be cheaper. Be yeah, cheaper. Yeah, please be cheaper. I don't please think it's going to happen. Cheaper. No. Yeah. It's, I think if anything happens, it will be going up. Right. But let's talk about um, some of the questions we have today. What is the best way to invest my tax refund? I all think a lot of people ask you I, that. I'll tell you what. How about all in one piece? Okay. Right, don't break it up. In America, you start breaking it up in a little bit for this, a little bit for that. Yeah, for the you know? stereo, for the TV. Put it, forget about it. Really? Put it away, okay? And put it, if you don't have an emergency fund, most people don't. Guess what? Put it away for an emergency. Save the whole thing. Uh, if you can. It's so hard to do. I know, Listen, we have all this advertising. You and I know that. Mm -hmm. It's all designed to do what? Separate you from your tax refund. Chunks of money are hard to accumulate in America, so let's try and do our best to keep it in one piece. You'll be much better off. It's always good to have that rainy day fun. I Absolutely. totally agree with you. So save that. Our second question is, I have five kids, and rather than blowing my tax refund, how would you recommend I invest the $10,000 to $15,000 for their college? Well, you look fabulous for five kids, let me just tell you. Oh, that's not me. Yeah, I don't I, know who are the I question was. Listen, but Nathan, you're saying whoever wrote this looks fabulous. I'm, it, sure, that's they, the I'm sure they do. Listen, <laughs> $15,000, put it aside for college. I like 529 plans because they grow tax-free, and with five kids, they're not all going to get sports or, uh, or academic scholarships mm -hmm. uh, and you can move it all around so that's a great thing to do the 529 plan 529 plans are offered by the state of Ohio they have very few fees associated with them put the money you know set it up and you only look at it about once a year because you only can make changes once a year I love 529 so you go to your banker say I have this money I want no, you the go to the state of Ohio state of Ohio that's right mm -hmm. okay state of Ohio got that and then our tip of the week don't have a dinner reservation cook for your Valentine explain well, because I'd be like, hey, why aren't you taking me out to dinner? Uh, you know what? First, first time I was ever on television, I did a cooking show. Yeah. All right? yeah, oh, yeah. Wow, okay. Just imagine me in an apron and we'll just take it from there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, the nicest thing you can do for somebody, certainly if you're a guy, guy nicest thing you can do is, uh, hi, honey, you, I'm going to cook. I'm going to clean. TV dinners don't count. It's very nice. Yeah, I like that. All right, thanks so much, Nathan. And just ahead in our 8 o'clock hour, we will be chatting with a local guy who plays for Super Bowl champion Seattle Seahawks. That's right. And then Frank has your forecast. We'll be right back.